Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Idaho Falls, Idaho. We're at a rental house here that Kevin Kittle has rented because his family is moving up to Idaho, and that was part of the reason why we're coming up here, but also just as a vacation. Anyways, we're here, and we will be going out to ARCO uh, and the Experimental Breeder Reactor 1 Museum out in the desert uh, that's west of Idaho Falls. That'll be fun. This is day four of our road trip. Come on, let's go. Well, we're going to have breakfast at the North Highway Cafe here in uh, Idaho Falls. All right. Good breakfast. This is a good diner. And what did you have? I had an everything type of all in it. And so everything was in it? Pretty much. Yeah, it was good. Half brown. Good breakfast. All right. This is radi radiation. Yes. Okay, Kevin, I need you to mix me a gin and tonic. Gin and atomic. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Oh well. A little bit more to your left. Okay, there you go. <laughs> well, okay, so behind me are two nuclear rocket engines. And we Kevin and I have decided that it would be a great idea to put these on an airplane. Do they weigh how many tons? 300 some yeah a lot of tons so we're not sure if it's going to get off the ground but look we have two nuclear powered rocket engines maybe they're technically jet engines but air breathing maybe anyways we're going to take a look at them so this is a result of what you call nuclear rocket engine envy because there was a supposedly the soviets had it and we had to have one too the air force wanted a nuclear powered aircraft it went full power in 1956 but I have a feeling it would have never flown. It looks a little too massive for an airplane. Okay, so here's the engine without all the shielding, and it looks to me like it probably leaves a trail of radioactive exhaust in the environment behind the plane. <laughs> so they're taking in air from the turbine engine, or airfoil right here. They divert it to the reactor. They heat it up, heat the air up, superheat it, and then they exhaust it out another turbine engine in the back. Okay, so it's the heated air that causes right. your thrust. Yeah, so it's a heat source for creating thrust. And that was the heater two, and this is the heater three design, which takes 
airflow in, diverts it around the reactor core, heats it up and exits. And here is an artist's concept of the bomber that would be powered by this nuclear engine. <laughs> and here are other proposed aircraft like a space plane, kind of like a B-52 with nuclear engines. Well, we just left Experimental Breeder Reactor 1. That was a very fun tour, a lot of stuff we learned. and. I was going to turn it over here to Kevin while he's driving it. Actually, the speed limit for a change. Uh, <laughs> what did you think, Kevin, about the uh, the tour? I thought it was really good. It was really neat to see how those nuclear reactors work, how the energy is produced, and how reliable and, and safe and such a wonderful source of energy it was. It's really pretty neat. I really, I really enjoyed that. I thought it was uh, yeah. quite, quite interesting. Do you think we should wash our hands before we eat, though? Well, only because we were touching uh, the banisters and stuff like that, where there would be dirt accumulated. <laughs> okay. Okay. They did have do dosimeters or whatever radiation gauges around the area that we're measuring, and it was showing like just above background, right? Or basically. It's basically background. Yeah. Radiation. So. Anyways, we felt safe, and actually inside the building, because it's so heavily built of concrete, there's no cell signal at all, right? Yeah, it was, <laughs> it, it, was a, it was a great Faraday cage. And also, the basement that we toured down there um, was very kind of cool, nice and cool. It was underground. Well, and it was also designated a fallout shelter. Oh, that's so right, right. You're in the basement, and you're basically standing right next to and underneath the reactor, but that's the fallout shelter <laughs> in case there was a yeah. nuclear uh, yes. uh, bomb oh, yeah. dropped yes. above you. Onto the reactor itself. Onto the reactor yeah. itself, yeah. <laughs> Well, today after we uh, left the EBR-1 site, we drove out to the Craters of the Moon National Monument. We just went through the gift shop a little bit, looked around, and then we headed back. It was a pretty warm day. We headed back, and here we are late in the afternoon. So that was our day. Pretty much we spent out at the Idaho National Laboratory's EBR-1 site. It was a lot of fun. Have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.